Three months ago, Pittsburgh endured one of the darkest days in its history. I can confirm that 11 people uh, lost their lives today. Within hours of the tragedy at the Tree of Life Synagogue, the city stood together. Pittsburgh united. But while the families of the victims and members of the synagogue found strength and support quickly, healing is something that's taking longer to find. Members of a church in South Carolina know exactly what the Tree of Life family has been going through. They endured a hate-filled massacre of their own nearly four years ago. Recently, members of the two congregations met face-to-face, -face, sharing Christian and Jewish customs in a search for peace and understanding. Lynn Hayes Freeland was invited to join them and reports that while there's a long way to go, this trip of healing was a step in the right direction. People travel from all over the world to Charleston, South Carolina, because the history here is so rich. Recently, a group of Pittsburghers came to Charleston, but they came to make history. Charleston, South Carolina is one of the most historic towns in the South. From the Revolutionary War to the slave uprisings led by Charleston's son, Denmark Vesey. It is recent history, however, that brought a unique group of Pittsburghers to the city. October 27th, 2018, a date that Pittsburgh will never forget. Robert Bowers entered the Tree of Life Synagogue in a hate-filled rage. He shot and killed 11 people, three from the New Light congregation. It was an act that is hard for anyone to come to terms with, especially family members left behind. At this point in time, I'm not prepared to forgive. Um, I'm still... Uh, on the angry side of things. I know that time does do some healing, and it just has, it hasn't been long enough for me. In the weeks that followed the tragic shooting, family, friends, and congregants grappled with grief and mourning, looking for answers and finding few places to turn. Yet 650 miles away, sits Mother Emanuel AME Church, a congregation that knows firsthand how it feels to have hate enter a religious space. In June of 2015, Dylan Ruth entered the basement Bible study here and shot and killed nine members of their church. I was under the table looking up, and when he got to me, he said, shut up. Did I shoot you? And I said, no. He said, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave you here to tell the story. Polly Shepard is one of the Emanuel Church shooting survivors, one of those who three years later can talk to members of New Light Congregation about hurt, healing, and forgiveness. I tell them, you have to forgive. It's a choice. Either you forgive or you don't. But if you carry it with you, there's no healing. It's like acid on a battery. Once it builds up, the car won't move. The trip was the idea of Dr. Peg Dorochko. Her husband, Dr. Richard Godfrey, died in the Tree of Life massacre. For her, one of the hardest things was just getting here. Leaving was very difficult because I'm traveling without my husband. But I remember what really struck me was the ability of the people who were in that church to forgive so readily and um, that intrigued me and it actually drew me because I want to learn forgiveness. These Pittsburghers found their way through Charleston in search of answers and in hopes of finding some form of peace. I would like to also learn a little more about the healing that has taken place from 2015 which is when the tragedy occurred here up until now and maybe even hear a little more about how the people who had to be at the hearing in court, you know, how they dealt with the emotions and, you know, the heartache that they had to revisit. Wow, what a powerful story. It really brought me chills just listening to some of those things they had to say. You know, it, it was interesting because it was one of the first times I had a chance to speak to some of the family members that survived the shooting here. Interestingly, um, in fact, the one woman, Carol Black, was in the synagogue at the time of the shooting here. 
but because of the FBI investigation, she's not allowed to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But she wanted to talk to Polly Shepard, who was in Emmanuel at mm -hmm. the time of that shooting. And hearing the Charleston survivors talk about forgiveness is one thing three years on. It's still so raw and fresh here. I wonder if to the Tree of Life survivors, that seems like something that they may never be able to feel. You know, it, it was interesting because one woman said to me, I know that I can get there mm. because they got there. But coming up at six, you're gonna see that church service where those two congregations came together and all of that emotion from 2015 and 2018 comes flooding out. Oh, and I love seeing these different religions coming together. What a beautiful Absolutely. story. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank Lynn. you.